We are back now with a sisterhood story behind a sweet tradition that goes back decades in the Pittsburgh area. It's called the wedding cookie table. And now thanks to social media, it is spreading to people around the country, all baking with a common ingredient, love. Continue our celebration of Valentine's Day with some life lessons about love. Now, the holidays typically focused on romance, but we want to talk about all types of love, whether it's with a partner, a family member, a friend, and uh -huh. here with her sweet advice. So, yeah. so why is this important uh, to get that friendships, family, yourself, to those in need? They're important for you to just know your spouse's love language or your friend's love language because you should, you should, I don't think it's always going to be the same. Which that's not um, your partner's language. For example, Chanel Say said to you, Eres una amiga muy especial. A mí me encanta su blusa. Who understood what I was saying? Yeah. But if, I, <laughs> if I, if I, me, you know, mm -hmm. I remember always Chris Rock. I never got that memo that when so we got good. married. Yeah. Yeah. And he, the memo he got was love is service. That's His service. family. That's a good point. So, we had to learn it. Can course. the love language change over time? It sure can. Because I'm gonna ask these two questions. What, what's your advice? And, and to be to be clear here, I'm not asking. And Valentine's Day just doesn't have the same spark yeah. which is very normal so for example early on in our relationships and what we see is after 20 years mm -hmm. couples who are happy who are single right mm. now mm, that's yeah. a second hug a friend a mm -hmm. pet wow that's great, great. That's thank really you so much Nero. we okay. needed that today yeah, it's in us a so bill yeah. <laughs> all right up next we are feeling the love and all right it is fitting you hear the music on this day of love to be talking about the legendary bob marley wow. morning, morning. 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 happy valentine's day everyone happy valentine's day, happy valentine's day. Yeah. And, from, and coming from you <laughs> I I know. Know. two years primarily 1976 to 1978 as i understand it why focus on, on that? Yeah, I, I got to imagine that there was, a, I mean, you had Ziggy on set to help you along with Famous it. songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I started really sick, I must have known 10, 20% of it. But yeah. I studied all of the albums. Bob Marley mean to you? It's like he said, everybody kind of has something that they feel it makes them. And yeah. you did that through his vocals. How did yeah. you? <laughs> Kingsley, excuse me. Uh, is it, you were filming the Barbie movie at the time that you were preparing for this. Is it true you had That's the amazing? Funny. Yeah. That's great. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's too much work to do. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. I to use all the gaps. <laughs> oh, good. Lashana, preparing to play Rita, who's also a producer uh, on, on the film as well, you're able um, and I did literally feel like a student kind of felt like a thank you all thank, thank you thank you guys we could talk to you for an hour yeah. thank you so much for coming Bob Marley one love in theaters today all right well just ahead planning a romantic all right welcome back on this Valentine's Day and if your love language is quality time how about a trip inspired by some classic romantic comedies here with vacation destinations from the films we all love is vice president Valentine's Valentine's Day. To you all. this is a fun idea yeah. So let's start with one of our favorites, a classic. Such a fan favorite, and it room at the famous Drake Hotel. Oh, yeah, it's really classic. nice. And you can stay in the guaranteed rate field, which was in the movie. <laughs> that would Time. be a fun date. Yeah. That would be fun. Right? Okay, so this next movie, I mean, it was the hit of the summer, earned $170 million at the box office worldwide. Anyone but you. Anyone but you, Sydney. That's where we recommend you go. It is a swimming club that dates back to 19. Yeah, so it's a perfect time mm -hmm. for that. And then while you're there, talking Hugh Grant, hard to believe oh, that yeah. this is the 30th anniversary of four weddings and a funeral. I know, and I have to admit, this is one of my all time feet <laughs> right there. So it's a fun little spot. And then last, Francisco, this is actually one I actually saw always be my, may my, my maybe mm -hmm. with, with Ali Wong. Yeah, the movie and that great cameo oh, right. performance. Uh -huh. It does not actually exist in a room which will start at 200. Missy, thank, great, you. thank right? you. We should mention that Missy is a paid employee of Virtuoso, which represents the Intercontinental Sydney and the Fairmont San Francisco. We'll be right back. Thank you, Misty. Tomorrow on the third hour of today, an early look at some of the best President's Day deals. Coming up on Hoda and Jenna, we've got filmmaker Tyler Perry and actor Trayvon, uh, Trayvante Rhodes. We'll right. see you back here tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a great day. You're right. You're just so <laughs>